Now driving could be fun, but have you ever had a flat tire went off in search of a vulcanizer only to find one, an amputee with just one arm? Newsline correspondent Ojonugwa Atta came across Dauda Shedu, an amputee who despite his physical challenge remains a great example of the strong and resilient hardworking Nigerian. The long drive to Okene, Kogi State in search of Dauda Shedu, a survivor of a motorcycle accident which left him with only one arm was not as difficult as we thought. The 35-year-old vulcanizer is well known especially for his professional competence. Since when I discovered this one, it's a man, you can imagine, you surprise me, how someone with one hand walking a hard up like this. That's why I used to hold handle at my customer. Anytime I have my, I have a video of a car problem, I, I have to take it. Since I was, I was with him, and that I do work with him, I thank God. He's a very good man, very jovial, and he's very nice in his work. He will do his work perfectly, but we cannot even see a minor fault on it. And the problem I always see on his work is that he don't have a normal equipment, a laser equipment that makes it easy for him. But we pray to God that people, a lot will still come on his way. He says it was not easy at the beginning, but with time he is now better at the job and patronage has improved. That time I open show now, anybody come, carry one or come, I say, which for gonna say Nami, he said, Nala, you know, be you, get one or how I go do it. I said, Nami, be your guy, he said, you know, grief. Some people carry work, they go, some people will wait. I say, my, do I eat here? And from there, they do it. The people who don't know me say, I'm a for gonna, before I get that, I call her. And from there, people, they bring work for me. So, now from there now, I, God just breaks me. I get that this show. Ironically, Dauda's determination and drive to succeed was further strengthened by his physical challenge and the fear of failure. I see the many, many people, he don't do it, he don't certify for that organizer. The time I did secondary school, I'm a GSTL. So now from there, they see people who they do and they do big moto. If you carry a tractor tire, come, they do and they see and they encourage me. I say, if you do this work, I see and I say, money day now. Now you make me go learn that organizer. The father of nine says he is grateful to God for giving him the strength to go on, while pointing out that no one should write off anybody as helpless or hopeless. I thank God. Now from 2002 to 2003, now I start this work. I thank God. I they see small small money to talk. So now that small small money now now they still feed my people. Dauda Shaidu says when he is not working in the shop, he enjoys the company of his family. He sometimes goes to his farm. For my advice for you, any work they do, just do them. Because any work they do, it's a work. And secondly, I get one hand that they do this work. I see many, many youth in their town. No one learn work, no one do work. But some people, they come home, if they do work like this, some people hammer hit time for her, you run away. Some people say it's too hard for him. Now he making request for that treatment. Well, he get treatment he's supposed to get. If he get a treatment, if he get her now, some people will be ready to learn this work. As we depart, his message for us is that life is what you make out of it.